Hello, this is Dr. Calbreth, Dr. C, and today we're looking at Chapter 8 of the Physics 1 course, Magnets and Electromagnets. We'll look at magnets, we'll look at magnetic fields, electromagnets, and the idea of electromagnetic magnetic induction. A little review, atoms have electrons and the nucleus, the protons and neutrons are in the nucleus, protons are positive, electrons go around the nucleus and electrons are negative. Now when a material is a conductor, that means electricity can flow through it, what we have are electrons jumping from one atom to the next. They move and that basically creates the electric current. A little more review. Like charges repel each other. Two positive charges are going to push each other away. Unlike charges attract each other. So a positive charge and a negative charge are going to attract one another and be drawn close together. A magnet. Magnets have poles. And magnets attract objects that are not charged. Um, there's a north pole and a south pole on a magnet, one on each, or each end of the magnet. We've learned about electrons. We've learned that electrons orbit around the nucleus of an atom. But what we haven't talked about yet is the fact that electrons also spin. They spin like a top. They can spin in two different directions. Uh, one electron could spin to the right and the other electron could spin to the left so that you have two electrons spinning in two opposite directions. Now, one of the interesting things about electrons is that atoms with equal number of electrons will have those electrons spinning in opposite directions and they will not be a magnet because the net spin is zero. An unequal number of electrons uh, there will be at least one spinning in a direction not matched by another electron. And that lack of matching creates the magnetic field. So if you've got electrons spinning and the spinning electrons will line up and that will form the magnet. And you got magnetic lines of force. Here you can see this. This is a bar magnet. We've marked the north and south poles. And um, this is put under a sheet of iron filings, a little plastic on uh, spread out the iron filings. And you put the magnet under them and they will orient like this. So you can see that the filings are being attracted to one or the other of the poles. Now the Earth has a magnetic field. It has a magnetic pole, um, which is what attracts compasses to the north. And that magnetic pole is a little off from the geographic north pole, which gets a little confusing. But uh, because of the spinning of the Earth and the Earth has a magnetic pole and has magnetic lines of force, as illustrated in the, in the diagram. Electromagnets are very useful creatures. A coil of wire with an electric current flowing through it can become a magnet. So if you <coughs> coil wire and run an electric current through it, you can actually make a magnet. Now these are nice because you can turn them on or off. If you put a bar magnet inside the coil, you make the bar a stronger magnet. And here you see um, these magnets picking up metal and moving them, moving large piles of metal from place to place. Now the nice thing is, as I mentioned, you can turn these magnets off and on. So this um, magnetic thing can pick up metal from a pile of metal, can move it over to some place to put it in a processing plant or to put it in a truck to be moved or whatever, and then you turn off the magnet and the magnetic field disappears and the metal can then be dropped into a container or into a truck and then the, the uh, 
pick up can go back and pick up some more metal, swing it over, put it down on the metal, turn the magnet on, the metal is attracted to it, taken over, dumped, turn the magnet off, and it's released from the magnet. Now you can create electric current by moving a magnet through a coil. So if you have <coughs> just a coil of wire and you put a magnet in it and you move the magnet up and down you can actually create an electric current the deal does has to do with the the electrons in the in the magnet affecting the electrons in the wire and this can be very helpful for generating electric current so what we've talked about magnets have opposite poles they have a north pole and a south pole like poles repel each other, opposite poles attract each other. You can take two magnets and put their north poles together and you'll f you can feel them pushing each other away. You can take two magnets and put a north pole next to a south pole and they will click together and, and join together pretty strongly. The poles are caused by spinning electrons and the poles can't be separated. You can't take a bar magnet, cut it in half, and only have one pole. If you took the bar magnet and cut it in half, each half would still have a north pole and a south pole. So you can't isolate one pole. Electromagnet, electric current through flowing through a wire creates a magnetic field, and you can uh, use this to pick things up, move them about, and then release them. Electromagnetic induction, moving a magnet through a wire coil, creates an electric current. So again, you can make electricity. You can then use this in uh, various electronic devices to generate current when you need it. So there you are. Thank you for coming, and we'll talk to you later.